Today we are going to show you the M12 hedge trimmers. Now I've had a chance to use these for a while and uh, so we're going to show you this video and then we're going to come back we're going to tell you my actual final thoughts on these because I do tell you a lot about them during this video but uh, we'll come back we'll go over some of these specs of this and uh, let you know price things of that so let's jump into this what's going on guys doing a hedge trimming job and uh, I got this small bush here and instead of using the Makitas on it well we're going to use this little Milwaukee fuel this new hedge trimmer M12 that they got and uh, see how good it works so let's do this You get into some thicker stuff like this, it really don't like it too much like this right here. It will cut it, but you have to really, you know, put it up there and into it. Otherwise, pretty quiet and uh, works fairly nice for these small bushes. Talk about a little bit of the cons to this whenever I'm done here, but it's very small uh, con wise in my opinion everything has a con though and uh, you know when you do this for so long it kind of gets awkward we'll just talk about it right now I guess while I'm doing it hopefully you can hear me but uh, it really gets awkward because when you're doing this <clears throat> the way you have to hold this in order to, to trim anything I kind of wish this handle was folded downward a little maybe I, I don't know exactly uh, how to say it it's it's very it gets very uncomfortable when you're doing a lot of side when you're doing the top once again kind of uncomfortable the way you have to hold this thing in order to, to do it so uh, you know over time you may get fatigued out real quick on this just because of the way you have to hold it in order to do anything doing a couple of small bushes totally fine you're probably going to be okay but i don't know if this is something that you would actually want to grab uh depending on how much you like or dislike the way you have to hold this in order to do your bush trimming and so uh i mean it does do a great job very good job at what it does and you know that's what it's meant for is just small bushes for trimming uh, for you know uh, what's I can't even think of the word I'm looking for for getting more detailed and some of these smaller bushes and stuff that you have to get in is really what it's for but the way you have to maneuver around and hold this thing I'm really not a fan of that it cuts great it does what it's supposed to do but I don't just the way you have to hold it in order to get anything done gets real tiresome, I guess you could say, real quick. But other than that, it works totally fine, as you can tell. And it has no trouble cutting any of this stuff, going through any of this. You can, you know, walk some stuff off. You can go through it pretty quick. Nice clean cuts is what you're getting with it. Nothing bad about that whatsoever. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think uh, about this? Let's talk about this a little bit more. I'll give you the specs of it and stuff, and then uh, we'll end this video. All right, so let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I know I went into some of what I things I liked and didn't like in the video. Now, you'll notice that when I start getting to this part right here and I grab it, it's uh, you pretty much have a half inch gap here. And with that half inch, I hit something that was a little bit bigger than that if you've seen when I pulled it off there. And so I just had to get it in there. But once you got it in there, I mean, it had no problem cutting that whatsoever. 2,700 strokes per minute, dual oscillating blades. So the blades on this both move. So as one's moving up, one's moving down, uh, you know, it's, it's not like a regular hedge trimmer, most regular hedge trimmers anyway, to where the one blade stays standard and then just one blade is moving. Both blades move on this. 
So it makes it very easy when you're cutting stuff. So uh, if you did get into something, you pull that trigger, well, guess what? It's almost like having a reverse if you got stuck on something because it'll, it'll you know, move the opposite direction and open up a little bit. Um, 23 inches in length, two and a half inches width, and then five inches high. Uh, when I weighed these without a battery, I got right at three pounds. I actually got 2.94. And then with a battery, uh, you're looking at 3.82. So right at three and a half pounds uh, with a battery on this, that's the 4.0. Now you are going to be able to get this tool only. I've had people ask me or comment on some videos saying, uh, prior to this of other Milwaukee videos I've done saying that you can only get this with a kit that is totally false the number of this is 2533-20 now I know Fleet Farm sells this for uh, tool only and you can get that for $169.99 or you can get the kit with the 4.0 battery and charger for $249.99 uh, my thoughts stay the same on this just like you you heard in the video I think it's awkward to hold depending on what you're doing. Uh, if I'm doing spiral ju junipers or something like that, this is probably not gonna be the tool I grab but just because of how awkward it is to use because of the way it, you know, I mean, if you're doing anything flat and you're up this high, well, you're, you're holding it weird. I mean, it, it gets very uncomfortable um, and awkward. So, you know, depending on the way what you're doing, uh, how you're doing it, then it could get very awkward in the hands to hold and very uncomfortable to do that. So uh, that's just my opinion on it. Now, some people, if you look at the reviews of this, uh, people love it and I, I can't knock that. You know, maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but the way I do things, the way I've been taught to do things, um, you know, it just, it feels kind of awkward in the hand once again depending on the application that I'm using it on so anyway uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment down below I'm Danny and I will see you in the next one